In this video, I will show you how to apply geometry nodes to a mesh so that it's not actually created out of geometry nodes anymore, but it's an actual 3D mesh with vertices, edges, and faces. And I will also show you how to do this if you've distributed an object on another object with geometry nodes using the distribute points on faces. And the file that I'm using is my futuristic sci-fi looping animation tutorial. Links in the description if you'd like to watch that tutorial. So you might want to do this for a few reasons, like maybe you've created some something out of geometry nodes, but then you want to apply it to a mesh so that you can texture paint it or sculpt it, or maybe you want to use it in another 3D software or upload it to Sketchfab or use it in a game engine or something like that. Then geometry nodes isn't going to work in that other program because geometry nodes is a blender only feature. So I would first recommend making a copy of your blender file just in case you want to go back to the geometry nodes after you've applied it. So I would recommend just copying the mesh or making a copy of the blender file. So just make sure you have the mesh selected and then if you go right over here to this wrench icon that's going to go to the modifier properties and you can see that the geometry nodes is actually added as a modifier so what you can do is you can just click right down here on the arrow and then you can click on apply and now that I've applied the modifier if you tab to go into edit mode you can see the mesh is actual geometry now and it's using vertices and edges and faces so that is it it really is that simple now let's say you have another object and you've distributed this object on the other object object. So how I did this is I added the distribute points on faces node and then I also added the instance on points node and then I plug that up to a join geometry. And if you'd like to learn how to do this, I have a separate tutorial on how to do that. Link is in the description and there will be a card right up there on the screen. So then there's three ways to add in the object that you want to distribute on the other object. You could add a collection info. So what you could do is you could add all the objects into a collection and then add them to the collection info. So that's one way that you could do it. Another way you could do it is with just a single object by adding the object info node and then just selecting the object that you want to instance and another way to do it is just by adding a shape within the geometry nodes so just adding a cube geometry node so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right over here to the modifiers and I'm gonna click on a drop down arrow right here and I'm gonna click on apply now when you do this you can see that the objects that we've distributed have disappeared so I'm gonna press Control Z to undo that so to fix this problem we're gonna press shift a I'm gonna go up here to the search and I'm going to search for the realize instance node. We're going to click on the realize instances and we're going to put that right after the instance on points node. So I'm just going to stick it right there. So now that I've put that node right there in the geometry node setup, I can just click on the drop down arrow and then click on apply. And now I can tab into edit mode and you can see that all of those objects that have been distributed have been turned into actual geometry. So this method with the realize instances node will work for any of these three options. You just need to add the realize instance after the instance on points, and then you can just apply the modifier and it'll be turned into actual geometry. So that's it for this tutorial. So thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you'd like to watch more of my geometry node tutorials, I'll have a link in the description to my geometry node tutorial playlist. But I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.